prepped with our official. This one is going to be a knockdown, drag out fight. Long history between Mike Bailey and this man has led to this. Literally emerging from the bowels of center stage here in Atlanta, Kenny King ready to fight. former X Division champion, Mike Bailey. Tonight, he's sporting Doba pants, which are a traditional Taekwondo wear, representing the martial arts background that he brings to this table and to this very, very unique scenario in the Impact Zone. This match was proposed by Speedball Mike Bailey, and now it comes down to this. Gentlemen, this is your Impact Wrestling main event, a first ever pit fight. Introducing the participants. First, to my left, he hails from Las Vegas, Nevada. He is Kitty King. His opponent to my right, from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Speedball Mike Bailey. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, referee Daniel Spencer will give the rules. All right, gentlemen, here's the rules. There are no pinfalls, no disqualification. You must win by submission or knockout. You understand the rules? You understand the rules? All right. Kenny King showing plain disrespect for Speedball Mike Bailey. These two have been hounding each other for months now. Initially, Ray, while you touched on it, once when Speedball Mike Bailey was the X Division champion, it was Kenny King who believed he'd taken the title from Speedball Mike Bailey. That was overturned. Bailey ultimately walked away with his championship. Ever since, Kenny King has been trying to get at Speedball. He also, yeah, that was the thing. Kenny King not, said he didn't buy into Mike Bailey's this cool, calm demeanor. He knew there was something more underneath and has been testing and pushing and poking and prodding at Mike Bailey ever since, going so far as to attack some of Mike Bailey's students as they were doing some sparring and training, which, which is all the more surprising that Speedball, despite all of that, you could see the vitriol in his eyes, still offered the handshake to start this one out. There's a lot of MMA experience in the background of Kenny King, but especially for Speedball Mike Bailey. He's been training in mixed martial arts, Taekwondo, as you mentioned, since he was a teenager. Potentially has the advantage here, but now able to take Kenny King down to the mat. And Kenny King trying to wrap his legs here around the midsection, trying to slow up Bailey. I'm going to have to, if I'm, if I'm going into my, my, and my analyst cap here, I would have to imagine you're going to give the striking advantage to Bailey. So all that martial arts, all that Taekwondo we just talked about, that's gonna be his go-to. Kenny King might have to play a grapple game here. I'm trying to control Kenny King from behind here, and as you just look around this setting, Raywald, of course, there are no ropes in this type of situation. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> see these two approaching the edge? And the two guys, obviously, who as well are incredibly versed in professional wrestling. That's that's their primary form of combat, right? So they're used to the ring environment, shooting off the ropes, diving off the ropes, things like that. They got to change their mindset here. Oh, and now look at this. Try to wind up there. Knee strike right to the ribs and able to take Kenny King down, who rolls off of the ring. Obviously, no count outs, no disqualifications. The only way to win is by knockout or submission. Kenny King trying to get a breather. A very different game plan, very different mindset than that which you would have at a traditional pro wrestling match. See Mike Bailey with a lot of those open palm strikes. Now Kenny King able to take Bailey off Whoa. his feet. Oh, he kicks him to the floor. And the King, albeit for a moment, takes his throne. Oh, and another big kick by Kenny King. 
Unlike the normal cages or octagons you might see in conventional mixed martial arts, this is a much more, uh, I would say, dangerous environment considering you have these exposed turnbuckles. You can see the rings there coming off the post. Oh, oh of course, the steel steps, the barricades. This is extraordinarily dangerous. And as it stated at the beginning of the matchup, there's still technically there no disqualifications. So while we're gonna see a lot of fight and a lot of grappling, they can go on to the outside. They can fight out there and do a lot, a lot of damage. But this is what Mike Bailey wanted. Said, let's strip everything away and let's fight. He asked for it, asking you oh. shall receive, and there you go. There's the grapple game, the ground game, and Kenny King coming into play. Trying to pass the arm here in this triangle. Bailey able to get out of it there. And again, normally that's a situation where King might want to worry about his shoulders being down. But this is not about that. Oh. This is knockout or submission. Great palm strike right to the chest there. Oh! oh! And face first into the ramp goes Bailey. That's another thing you wouldn't have to worry about in a normal mixed martial arts situation. The impact zone offering a unique environment oh. for this fight. What a knee strike by Kenny King. Bailey yeah. almost, almost could have collided with those, those ramp lights, let alone the plating of the, the steel ramp. And, and right now the official is trying to check and see if Speedball Mike Bailey can go if he is indeed knocked Ooh. out. Oh, and Mike Bailey went head first into that light. Mike Bailey's in trouble. Kenny King is taken over here in this pit fight. The assault continues from King. This match continues on Access TV. And we're back here on Impact Wrestling on Access TV. This is the first ever pit fight. The only way you win is via knockout or submission. And speedball Mike Bailey, 20 before the break by Kenny King after a knee to the face that sent Mike Bailey into the lighting rigs along the ramp. And now King responds. Oh. Speedball Mike Bailey wearing the scars already in this matchup, showing the physicality on full display. That's how bitter this has gotten between these two. Our Kenny King, oh, dragon screw. Taking this man apart. You can see there the blood of Speedball Mike Bailey adorning the chest of Kenny King, a sign of the damage already done in this pit fight. Now Kenny King keeping Mike Bailey close. All went for a scorpion kick. Oh, oh and a Sparta kick there by Bailey and King her to the outside. This is impact. Mike Bailey showing much needed signs of life in this one. And now look at Bailey, blood all over his forehead, wants to fight, wants to keep going here in this pit fight. Now lighting up Kenny King. Oh, JCVD be damned. Oh. Say hello to Speedball Mike Bailey. Oh, now Bailey. Bailey. King on the defense here. Yeah, Bailey just trying to corral Kenny King. Kenny, oh! oh! The armbar here! Armbar by Bailey! The beautiful cartwheel over into that as well, avoiding all, all the defense from King. Now trying to snap the arm and, by Kenny King. And Kenny King trying to roll over, trying to get his hands together, trying to get some grip so he can maintain control. Yeah, but here again, normally you try to maybe get a cover here, but that doesn't work in this matchup. Oh! But that right there will. Great adaptation by Kenny King, as you mentioned. Very easy to fall in, perhaps, so the conventional rules of a pro wrestling match, as we're all so used to. This is a pit fight. The only way to be a knockout for submission. Now look at this. Hey, right back. You're doing an inverse armbar here. Draped over the side of the ring. That's all the weight, all the pressure on the elbow, the shoulder of Kenny King. A lot of damage done there. Now Bailey climbs back up onto the ring. Oh! 
and goes after the arms. Well, one. Oh, oh, drag and screw, and down goes Bailey. Hard. And the official checking to see if both men are good to continue. It's bad enough when you get your leg twisted and then driven into the ring on a dragon screw, let alone all the way to the floor. Oh, my God! Kenny King going back to a little bit more of the pro wrestling playbook, that huge blockbuster all the way to the floor. Oh, straight shot to the ribs. Oh, now look at this, Kenny King grabbing a steel chair. Shut your ass up! Uh, and again, there's no disqualifations in a pit fight. These two wanted to get down and dirty. They're gonna get it. You tell a man there's no disqualification, you can't get mad when he takes advantage. I'm sure Mike Bailey was looking for a straight up striking submission matchup, but this is the environment you got. Oh! And now Kenny King with the steel chair in the center of the ring. And that's one way to knock a man out. Drop him on a steel chair. Oh. oh now Bailey. Whoa. He's external. It's supposed to oh, oh, goes over the steel post. Bailey just kicked the steel post. He could have broken toes, a broken foot here, and now being locked in the figure four. Finger four, leg lock, and think about the previous damage to the left leg, especially the speedball Mike Bailey, the series of dragon screws, and then Bailey inadvertently just kicking the steel post. All that pressure Whoa. on the ankle. Oh, somehow, speedball turns it around. Speedball reversed the pressure for a moment. Now Kenny King reverses it. Back and forth. They go. Oh, oh. and still, for a moment, we're holding on to the submission. But the collapse from the ring and the damage from this matchup separates these two warriors for a moment. Oh! Stiff, straight kick there from Mike Bailey. And now Bailey going up the ramp here. What's he thinking? Oh, God, he, he's lining up Kenny King all the way from downtown here. Oh, my God, now Bailey. Bailey! Oh! Oh. Kick sends King off the ring. Bailey unloaded that. What? What in the hell is Mike Bailey thinking here? Bailey climbing the turnbuckle rings to get to the top of the post. Oh, off the top! Oh my God! We have got to take a look at this. Look at it one more time. Bailey climbing the ropeless ring post here. And then watch this. A beautiful twisting splash right on the king on the floor. Total nonstop action here in this pit fight. A first time ever creation. And now Speedball Mike Bailey. Well, could he be thinking about it here, Ray Walt? Go for the ultimate weapon! Oh, oh no! And a counter by King! Denied by Kenny King! Spine buster into the side of the ring! And all the damage already done to the leg of Mike Bailey. This is a bad place to oh. be! Big kick by King! And King saying, check him! He wants to win via knockout! And keep in mind, this is no last man standing match. There is no 10 count here. The referee will check the athlete to see if they are out. Bailey said it could continue. The official says the match continues. Right, you gotta be wary. If the official says you're out, this one is over. But it's enough damage been done to the left leg of Speedball Mike Bailey for King to get a submission win. There's no ropes to grab here, no rope break. But wait, Bailey! Oh! Bailey using the steel chair that King introduced! And now Bailey unloading on King. He has had enough. He snapped! Another arm bar! Arm bar! Bending the arm backwards, trying to snap it. Wait, wait, what's he switch to do here? 
King can continue. He's letting this one go on. Oh my God. We have no! never seen this oh. kind of Bailey. He's That's out. It. It's That's over. It. Bailey wins the pit fight. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, as a result of a knockout, Speedball Boyd Bailey. Bailey turns to pure blood sport in the first ever. Hit fight, Speedball beats Kenny King. We have seen a very, very different Mike Bailey here tonight. Is this what Kenny King ironically had been searching for all along? Another gear, another sign of Speedball. 2022 was a breakout year for Speedball Mike Bailey. Tonight, he puts Kenny King in the rear view and wins this pit fight. What is next for Speedball Mike Bailey?